Hello, hello everyone, and welcome on into the Saturday stream. I actually think I can probably turn down the gain on this microphone a little bit. Maybe not. <laughs> I, I honestly can't tell if the gain switch is even doing anything. But hello everyone, and uh, welcome on into the Saturday stream. Hope you're all doing pretty well, and uh, yeah, we're just going to be playing some Civ today. I'm probably only going to stream for an hour today. I got some other stuff going on. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Let me quickly adjust some other things here. So I'm playing around with gain and stuff because I'm not currently at my usual setup. I am currently at my parents' house for spring break, so I am gaming on my laptop. Uh, it sounds like I turned up the gain. Wait, that turned up. Wait, hang on, chat. Tell me, wait, does this go? Does this turn up the gain? This turns up the gain or down the gain? That definitely turns up the gain. So this way turns down the gain, right? Ah, there we go. There we go. All right. I think that should be minimum gain. All right, okay, there we go. That that one hopefully should be better. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I probably just blew out some some people's eardrums, but hopefully, hopefully we're a little bit better now. <laughs> Everyone's dying in the chat because I just did that. Oops, 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 oops. All right, yeah. I'm uh, back on the back on the old microphone, the old the old blue Yeti instead of my. My nice Shore SM7B, so. Yeah, but yeah, we're just going to play some uh, some Domination games today. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, probably only going to stream for an hour. I got some other work to do and stuff, so I want to wanna get on that, even though even though I'm on spring break. Still got to work. What the heck? What's the... <laughs> I'd rather not be deaf when I'm 30. Thank you very much. I know, right? But yeah, so, uh, yeah, what's, what, what's, what's, what's the big idea with people giving me work on spring break? Ridiculous. Uh, but hello, Vegetable Salad, uh, Umberto, Zach Miller, Force Lightning Cable, Greg Collins, CJ, Kramer, Venetian Arsenal, Colden, BK, Sophie, uh, Acrum, I, uh, Maximus, I think I got everybody in the chat. I think I've, I've greeted all the people, so let's switch on over. Uh, okay, I think that's the one I want. Oh, okay, there's Siv. Yeah, let me let me know if the Civ audio balance is a little bit wacky as well. Um, so we tried on Tuesday to play a, a domination game as Australia, and it went basically horribly. <laughs> so maybe let's try someone that's a little more domination suited. But the question is, who? Who could we play? Um, Harold? No. Genghis Khan, maybe. We have one vote for the Gull. I was thinking maybe Alexander today. Tamiris, though. Yeah, we do have a few a few votes for Tamiris. I actually I haven't played Tamiris in a long, long time. Should we play Tamiris? So what do we actually get? Plus five combat strength when attacking wounded units. When they eliminate a unit, they heal up to thirty points. Second light cav every time, or soccer horse searcher every time we train a light cav or soccer horse searcher. Let me get the Kirk. And you know what? Let's go for it. I honestly, I've played Tamiris like maybe once, <laughs> and I think that's literally it. So let's let's give her a try. What do you what do you do whenever you play Tamiris? Though, do you get a religion? Because obviously, with the Kurgan, it kind of seems like you want to get a religion, but it also does just give you a lot of gold, which is nice. You could go religion plus crusade, I guess, right? Maybe that's the play. All right, let's uh, let's turn on also let's turn on Heroes and Legends and Secret Societies. It can't be worse than Australia, right? Yeah, dude, okay. The Australia game was actually so bad. It was so bad. It was quite embarrassingly bad, honestly. All right, but yeah, is 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 the audio balance okay? You can you can all hear the game, right? The game music. It's not like blowing out your eardrums. Hopefully, at least. Why is Domination Victory your biggest enemy? Uh, I never can seem to do it right. I seem to always mess it up early on, or just get stalled on one point for, you know, 30 minutes, and then just realize after 30 minutes that I'm too far gone and have already lost the game, basically. I feel like a religion just slows down to Myris. Okay. Okay. That's kind of what I was thinking as well. I feel like you just rush for, like, cavalry, right? Go for a fight? Okay. Audio is good. Thank you. Thank you. That you shall look upon and lead the Scythian people. The Scythian, Scythian people, huh? Horse warriors that ride forth from the. You just connected difficulty. Ah, the uh, line of every battle, they will find you. Ride on, fierce queen. 
And may right, your friends yeah. Hopefully be true. we can have some luck Just with Tamiris. Your enemies falter. I, uh, the last time I played Tamiris was probably like... I don't even know. It's been so long, actually. Do, 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 do. That's not what you want to see from a Tamiris spawn. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Um... Hmm. If there's production down here, though, it's not actually that bad. There's no production down there. Alright, that's not what you like to see. We're not, we're not even going to try that one. <laughs> that, one that one's a no-go for me. Oh, uh, man, and the unfortunate thing is, since we're on a laptop today, we, got, we have longer load times. Nobody wants to have longer load times. From the first stirrings of life beneath water. The great beasts of the Stone Age. I, I uh, have to get used to, to gaming on the laptop setup just because right I think this summer I'm doing an internship far. and I'm pretty sure it's going to be now in person, so I'm not going to take my desktop because from this it's across the country, <laughs> so I don't really want to transport my the desktop stars. across the country, so I'm going to have to with fear and perhaps upgrade fear my laptop gaming setup to a... To do things better. From the back of your I think I'm probably I'm probably gonna get a new beat. external GPU because mine's pretty old. What laptop is it? So right now I have a Razor Blade Stealth, which is it's a 13-inch Ultrabook. So <laughs> it's not exactly the best gaming thing. Um, but so what I do is I I have an external GPU, so I I can use like my desktop GPU to plug it in. It's on it's on it's not a setup I would recommend for most people. All right, that, this is a much better spawn. As long, I guess, as long as we have horses is the the thing. If we don't have horses, this spawn sucks. But I think this one should be pretty good. But yeah, so I I have an external GPU that I I just put in my desktop GPU and then just plug it into the laptop. So then I mean, once I do that, it becomes a pretty good becomes a pretty good uh, gaming setup. Like I'm running Civ at 160 FPS while streaming right now. Obviously, we're not at max settings, but you know, it it, it does the job. Why don't you play on your desktop? Oh, I mean, so I'm, I'm not currently at my apartment where my desktop is. I'm, I'm at my parents' house for spring break, so... I have I have the laptop today. But yeah, the problem is my, my external GPU is kind of old. And it's the USB ports on it just don't work. So I, I don't have enough USB ports to plug in everything I need. So I kind of need to get a new one, but... They're not terribly expensive, but like the 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 dock is like 500 bucks, I think. Which you know, it's also it's not cheap for sure. It's not as expensive as you know buying a new GPU or a new laptop for that matter, but it still is kind of pricey. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, we've met the Congo, huh? Interesting. I happen to hate the Congo with a passion. I think we are we are gonna finish this builder as well, just so that way if we have horses, then we can improve if them right no away. Dogs. We don't have them in our capital, so let's switch real fast to a settler. We'll settle the horses, that way we can get them. And then I think we're just gonna rush for We're basically just gonna rush for uh horseback riding, I think. For Civ, you just need one frame per turn, you know? I mean, to a certain extent, you're not entirely wrong. Oh, we got a Relic as well. Relic is super nice. Love to see the Relic luck. Guess it doesn't matter that much for us this game, because we're not going to get a Religion, but, I mean, a little bit of extra Faith. Uh, faith is helpful, though, just for getting us a Pantheon. Because if we could get, like, God of the Forge or something, that would be kind of sick. You depend on early war right now? Congo's pretty close. Yeah, Congo is quite close. Alright, I think we could run Urban Planning since we already have the Relic. That way it'll make it a little bit easier to get out this Settler and the Builder and stuff. We'll send our scout through Congo's territory, just so that way we can see where all their cities are, so we know where to attack. I'm sure we're going to get destroyed by barbarians in like 10 seconds here. Since a barb scout did happen to find my territory. Alright, there's their capital right there. Hey, Ritiscus, Ritiscus. 
Um, okay, we've got... Can we get a free settler? We can't get the free settler, which does suck. Can we get God of the Forge? God of the Forge is also taken. All right, never mind. <laughs> we could take Divine Spark. It's not that great for us, this game. Maybe God of the Open Sky. We are going to have a lot of pastures. Fertility Rights is also still pretty good. Mm, I don't know, chat. What do you think? Fertility Rights or God of the Open Sky? Yep. I'm going to sneeze in like 10 seconds. Hey, Ikdo. How's it going? How is it going? Alright, I need I need the professional chat recommendation. Craftsman. I guess God of Craftsman is quite good, actually, isn't it? You know what? I like it. I'm sold. I think. I feel like I never take God of Craftsman, so let's try it. I know, I, I gave two options, then chose neither of them. <laughs> That's how it goes. Alright, um... Hmm... I think we can probably afford to go Pingala. I was debating Victor and then getting the promotion on Victor that gives the loyalty pressure, but I don't think we need that. Now everybody's saying fertility rights. Well, I mean, fertility rights was probably, like, the better choice, but it's not as fun. Should probably make sure I don't accidentally lose my settler here. We'll just settle this city right here. And then luckily we do have the builder all nice and ready to go improve our horses over here. Second city goes down. Start sending the builder over. Uh, we can probably queue up another settler for now. Or no, actually maybe let's let's build a slinger. Just so that way we can get an archer real fast. Uh, give me a monument over there. Ah, uh, they do have vampires. And a good few military units, it looks like. We have met Wilfred Laurier. Alright, how many will we... Okay, we don't grow to this one anytime soon, so we'll do that. That becomes a 3-3 with one faith as well. That's a pretty good tile. We haven't found any heroes yet, have we? I shot an arrow. The barbarians, however, have found us, of course. Build one of those as well. Um, well, we're gonna have to defend against these barbs now, and then we definitely want to get horseback riding. We'll hide in our city center for right now as we build this archer. I think we're gonna go archer and then settler. Oh my god, there are a lot of barbarians. <laughs> there are, are quite a few. Thoughts on the new Kurgan? Uh, I don't know, this is the first time I'm using it, so... That's the positive. I suppose we shall see in this game. I feel like the, uh, it does... Uh, what, what did they actually change with it compared to before? It has more gold on it right now. Which I think is very good because one of the biggest weaknesses of Scythia was the fact that your cavalry units are pretty expensive. So it was kind of difficult previously to be able to maintain an army of them without going broke. The other good thing here is we, we're definitely going to get the boost for horseback riding, I think. All right, I can't give you my horses because I kind of kind of need them. We found Mulan as well, which is good. Killed that guy. Alright, I think the barb camp. There might be a city-state clearing it. Uh, yeah, it looks like that is the case. Alright, I'm kind of... I wish that they hadn't cleared it, just because I would have rather cleared it to maybe get vampires, but that's okay. What difficulty? Yeah, this is the giddy. Uh, let's maybe go put a camp over here. Alright, I want to kill one more barb, because I don't think we have bronze... For oh, wait, no, never mind. Actually, yeah, we already do have bronze working boosted. Never mind then. Okay, please do not pillage my horses. 
That would be quite bad. I'm sure he's going to. Yep. <laughs> Darn it. Well, let's divert our builder back and go repair that now. Uh, we can switch off of Craftsman because we're going to get three tile improvements here in just a second. Um, and then down here, yeah, let's let's do a devotion to Milan. Okay, we'll kill you and send you up there. Uh, I guess the one thing is, yeah, these aren't going to be on water. It's not the end of the world, though. Five turns and then we get... Okay, come on, do not settle here in front of me. I'm going to be quite upset if he does, especially if it's at a spot where it's not aqueductable. Where is he going to go? Okay, he hasn't gone anywhere yet. Alright, now we can send this guy over here to hopefully build us. Okay. Six gold per turn is tempting, but I can't really afford to trade away my horses. Alright, how much you want to bet he's going to settle the exact same turn that I do? You. <laughs> of course. Alright, well, do we settle one here? I don't know if that's really that worth it. Maybe we divert our settler. Yeah, maybe let's send our settler up here instead. Okay, we have Mulan now. So I think, what's what's Mulan's deal? She gains, like, one combat strength every turn, right? What do you like most, late game or early game? Uh, almost definitely early game. I feel like, in a lot of cases, by the time you get to the late game, the game is, like, kind of already decided, you know? Alright, once we get these two horsemen, I think we can probably just absolutely steamroll. Are we come to Suzerain Marma? Sure, why not? Reveals a lot of tiles. Maybe that can help us decide where to send our settler. Or maybe maybe we'll send our settler back here, actually. Look at this. Look at this forward settling. Always one step ahead. I think we just declare war right now is probably the play. Because if we say no and then they ask us about it later, they're going to get quite upset. Or, or if, if we say no and then declare war on them later, they're, everybody in the world is going to get quite upset, I guess is what I'm meaning to say. So yeah, we will start by attacking this city here. See if we can get any progress on this. Move in Mulan, why not? I think this city should be pretty easy to take. Honestly, none of his cities are insanely strong right now. Yeah, the city is now under siege, at least. This guy's in a very good defensible spot since he's on a he's on a hill that has rainforest. Uh, the bad thing is they are in a golden age, so it is going to be tough. It's going to be tough to maintain enough loyalty pressure here means we're just going to have to take them over very fast. All right, we can probably even settle this one more away. We don't have to settle these cities like super close together because we're going to end up with a lot of cities just from, you know, fighting. Look back over the path. Look back. Um, okay, we don't need any of that. We want the one. Okay, we should get this so that way we can get the bonus production towards cavalry units. And I think now let's probably appoint Victor as well. That way we have him ready to go. Another city founded. We get our horsemen in three turns. Is 
So I think for right now, I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of going to stall taking this city because I don't really care to take it yet. So what I'd much rather do is wait till I have the power to take like two cities at once. Because once I do that, then the loyalty is a lot easier to manage. So I think that's the play. I'll build some Sokka horse, ar Sokka horse archers over there. Bring this guy up. For right now, I think we'll just fight people. Fight as many people as we can. All right, horsemen coming up in this turn. You can raise the Congo city and bring the settler back to where I want it. I mean, the thing is, this is actually, it is like a fine, it's a fine spot. It's not really any better or worse than the one that I had planned out. And okay. Do some more schwacking. Boost my knowledge towards irrigation. They bought a heavy chariot. I don't, and that doesn't really scare me at all, honestly. The thing I just want to make sure of most is that this guy stays okay. Which I think he should be pretty alright. <laughs> plan to conquer two cities? Oh, well, I mean, I plan to take them all, actually, but I'll start with two. Motion for you. Kill that unit. Guess I'm gonna step back one, shoot you, move in a horseman. And I think these guys can all move around the city a little bit. Hey, sexy. Happy Saturday, and happy Catterday to Eugene. When are you launching your second channel, The Gummy Saxophonist? Asking for a friend. <laughs> Nick Jeffrey, thank you very much for the five pounds. Uh, I am launching my second channel. Um, well, probably never, but you never know. Maybe. I also, I don't appreciate seeing Spearman. But I must say, Nick Jeffrey, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, a pretty good meme. Do that just so that way that guy gets a promotion. We can take the city. I suppose we might as well, right? How bad is the loyalty pressure? Minus 14. That is pretty bad. It's not actually that terrible. Rebellion in 8 turns. Can we take that city in 8 turns? I feel like there's actually a pretty good chance that we can. Oh, I also do need to rename the city. Oh wait, actually no, that, that, that wasn't a city request name. <laughs> I, I thought that, that the gamey sexophonist was a, a city request name, but I just realized it actually isn't. But when, when am I launching that? Uh, you know, probably uh, tomorrow. Okay, our scout doesn't really need to be there anymore. We can put this guy into the city. That guy can heal up. I'm just gonna back this guy off into a tile where he's a little bit more defensible. Alright, we're up to actually rebellion in 34 turns now, which is much better. I think this this army here is gonna get pretty easily destroyed, I think. I thought Clay. Especially since they're within range of my city. So my archer can hit them. In addition to move on. Oh, are you serious? That guy lived? He's insane. Guy down. Let's get irrigation just so that way we can improve a few more of our tiles. And then now we can approach this city. And I think this one should go down pretty easily. Oh, what happened to our loyalty? Our loyalty all of a sudden plummeted. That's two of those guys, though, which is good. Um, we can probably maybe even build an encampment. I don't know where I want to put one, though. Let's finish our monument. The, the Congo do have 75 science per turn. I'm just now realizing. 
Uh, build me a mine. Okay, everybody's alive. It's a good a good start. Um, we can get promotion on you. Shoot the city. I don't think we can quite take the city this turn, unfortunately. Continue to move in our two new horsemen here. I think we should be fine to hit the city. I don't think that guy's really in any danger of dying. Oh, what, what, what about the nuclear channel? Hey, wh one of these days I may eventually make another video. The man who has... However, that's a lot of... <laughs> that's, that's a lot of ifs and mays. Take the city. We can. Okay, very nice. So we'll move Pingala over here to this one. We're gonna try our best to just continue the steamroll here. Alright, the problem is I do see he is building walls in his capital. We don't really have any way to get through walls right now. I guess though we can get towards masonry. Or work towards masonry, I guess, is what I'm... We can even boost it. We're still only at 8.4 science per turn. A strong okay, he does have the walls up now, actually. Which is quite unfortunate. We might have... We might end up with just enough ranged units that we can... You know, smash our way through them. We're still minus six loyalty there, jeez. Over in the capital, I mean, Temple of Artemis is very good. I think for right now that we just need more military units. And let's definitely get Garrison Commander on Victor, because that will help the loyalty in this city as well. Just spam units and the walls will fail eventually. I mean, it does work. The problem is I can't pay too much of a price. Especially since he has 70 science per turn already. Where are his campuses at? Does he just like not Okay, there's one right there. Let's let's work on maybe pillaging his campuses to start. Uh, why can I not shoot you? I don't know. I don't know why this guy can't shoot. He should be able to, I think. Okay, he's got a vampire in the city as well. Need the scout over here, just so that way. Yeah, it's. We just need a lot of ranged units. Luckily, we do have Mulan still. Now, oh, yeah, yeah, that guy is able to shoot now. Mulan does do a bit of damage to the walls, but I guess hopefully she doesn't take too much in return. The other big problem is that we only have 11 turns until the city rebels. Alright, it's really good that they're only shooting this guy so far. When wasteful. We've completed our Sokka Horse Archer. And let's try to get the city under siege while we're at it. Bring over our two Sokka horse archers. We're actually, we're doing kind of okay on gold for turns still, surprisingly. Two walled off cities, good luck, but we, yeah, I mean, we have 12 turns left on uh, Mulan. I think there is a chance that we can take both. Alright, well actually, we will take that deal. Just because we, we could use a little bit of gold. Writing is easy. Plunder a trade route there. Okay. City now under siege as well, which is very nice. And I think we're probably good on horsemen for now. Would like a campus. 
Got a plus four campus thing. Continue to bring our Sokka horse archers over. Okay, these guys are just getting hit, but it doesn't really matter. Crossbowmen go burr. Not yet they don't, but whenever they do, then we're maybe going to be in trouble. So we'll just pillage that to give that guy a little bit more HP. Everybody else is just cruising on in. I'm surprised that they actually, they chose to still shoot this horseman instead of the archer. Politics is the archer. Okay, we can definitely take oligarchy now. Definitely want conscription. Conscription is going to save us so much gold, actually. Also, everybody, don't forget to drop a like on the stream. Support your favorite streamer by dropping a like right on the stream. Let's actually run, let's run the great general points. Getting a great general would be very good here. And yeah, I think we should actually be able to successfully take the capital. 17 turns to rebellion over here. That's totally fine. That's not totally fine though. <laughs> Crossbowman is about the last thing we want to see right now. But I think I'm going to do this and make sure that the crossbowman isn't able to ever get into the city center. This guy is also probably going to die. But I'm kind of okay with that because we have... His replacement is arriving shortly. Okay, he is indeed dead. So now it is quite important that we're able to get these walls down. Keep the city under siege. And I think next turn the walls should be down. Actually wait, let's see, when do we get coursers? We should probably prioritize that tech. These coursers are the next big upgrade for us. And we sometimes dedicate an entire stream just to Vibe Congo medieval theme. Yeah, we'll just we'll just have Eugene like head banging. We're like. Saka horse archers are in now. Can't quite take the city this turn, but I mean, at this point, they have no walls, so they can't do much damage to us. How about Zulu theme? Uh, honestly, yeah, there's so many good themes in Zulu. All right, this should be Congo's capital belongs to us. The sad thing is, you know, they have 61 science per turn. We are not going to end up with 61 science per turn after taking all their stuff because it's just like so much of it is just the deity AI bonus. We are at rebellion in five turns there though, surprisingly. It's actually still huge loyalty pressure on them. Okay, we do need an aqueduct in this city. Um, but I don't think we're getting it anytime soon. Maybe for now, we'll get a granary. Okay, I maybe have just killed that Sokka horse archer. Maybe, maybe that one too. <laughs> like to get rid of this city. Okay, that's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. So with the crossbowman in the city now, we take... going to take quite a bit more damage here. Mm -hmm. 
It's pretty important that I actually go and make sure that I'm pillaging as much as I can. Man, I'm really surprised that the loyalty still is not actually that great. Maybe we need to up our, our own population a bit. I guess some, some amenities is going to help as well. Slap down... Oops, I did not mean to buy that. Slap down an encampment just like out here. Oh. I'll say that guy's certainly dead. But I want to... I still, I still only have 10 oh, science per turn. That guy promotion. I'll try our best to harm the walls over here. Get a library. Heal up. Please rename Congo Capital Mbembelix Ghosts. <laughs> okay, sure. Thank you very much, Nick Jeffrey. Uh Mvemba Licks Goats. Now that's some BM. Taking his capital and renaming it to Mbemba Licks Goats. How many lifespan? We only have two lifespan left over here. Which I think doesn't really bode well for us. Okay, that guy's definitely dead. Trying to like scavenge up as much science per turn as I can. All right, we're actually we're stable on loyalty in that city at least now. I don't really want to lose any units here, so I want to be a little careful. I don't. We might kind of be stalled out here. Okay. Well, speaking of losing units, I have lost a unit, uh, and we lost Mulan as well. Which I think. The fact that Mulan is gone now means that it's it's probably nearly impossible for us to continue this. Because we don't have catapults yet, do we? We definitely don't. Well, I guess we get catapults. Man, we just have such bad science per turn. We're still struggling quite heftily on loyalty. Do we get a okay, we get a governor title in five turns. Which will help out the loyalty in that city enough. Grab another hero. Yeah, I want to. We, we can get Oya, but the problem is it takes 23 turns to recruit. <laughs> we don't have enough faith to be able to re-recruit Mulan either, unfortunately. Even so, I mean, that was still a very a very successful uh, start there. This should give us... This might give us enough amenities to be able to help out loyalty as well. How come loyalty in Congo City is stabilized if you haven't taken any more cities? It's probably from uh, population growth in some of my other cities. Oops, I just clicked off of Civ. Oh, I may have crashed. Okay, <laughs> I thought I crashed the game for a second. <laughs> Alright, we desperately need science right now is what we need. I just realized, hang on, if we can kill this guy... Like, what if we do this, and then a little bit of this? I mean, killing him is very important. Makes me want to try to go beat him up. Whoever just followed my Twitch, thanks. Do amenities help loyalty? Uh, they can. So, yeah, we have min minus six from happiness level. Oh my god. How is there minus six there? War weariness? Yeah. So all the war weariness is hitting Kinshasa right now. So it's actually taking a pretty large amenity hit. Sometimes the I'll do some, some minor wall damage. Mystery. Pillage some more things just for the fun of it. 
Uh, okay, this actually would be very nice to get. I think right there is probably the best spot. 13 turns for Temple of Artemis. If we can get it, I'll be quite happy. We do need another governor. Um, I think let's just get Liang. Put Liang in Kinshasa, which will stabilize loyalty there. How much HP do you have? You do have more than 50, so you're probably fine. You are in fact not fine. You are also not fine. Well, that kind of hurts me a little bit. <laughs> okay, I, I was not expecting them to produce two units there, and then all of a sudden just come out and schwack me. I'm building a commercial hub? What? Did I seriously- I click commercial hub instead of encampment? Oh my gosh. I want- <laughs> I thought I put an encampment here. 